This video will show you how insulation works. There's many ways that you can keep your house warm and heat loss needs to be considered at each point in the home. Most methods try to reduce conduction which transfers heat very rapidly. Some other methods reduce air movement in and out of the house. So in the roof we can fit loft insulation. So this will typically be fiberglass or layers of wool. In the walls we can fit cavity wall insulation. So this might be some kind of mesh or some kind of polymer or other materials like polystyrene balls which can be injected in quite easily. What these both do is they ensure that inside the house, where it's warmer in this case, doesn't transfer its heat quickly to the outside which would cool the home down. So if we imagine this is the wall, instead of it being solid which would conduct heat very rapidly, we've got either polymers, different layers or we've got poly polyester balls in there which create these small pockets of air. Now in it, it means that the heat transfer needs to take place through convection. So these small pockets need to convect the heat in order for it to reach to the side. So what this does is it increases the time it takes for the heat to be lost to the outside. And this would work the other way around on a hotter day and it would keep the house cooler in the summer. The floor you can fit a carpet in which works on the same principle and it will make the floor feel less cold. Windows, you could fit double glazing and curtains. Curtains would trap a layer of air in between the window and the house which again would reduce conduction through it. Not having a solid piece of glass would massively reduce conduction. So here we've got two panes of glass and inside there's typically a vacuum or just a layer of air. Now, because these two panes of glass are separate, conduction can't happen rapidly through one pane. Because of it, if the heat was being lost from inside in this case, it means that it has to either radiate across the vacuum, or if there is air in it, it has to convect to the other side, which increases the time it takes and keeps the house warmer. If it was warmer on the outside of the house, so on a sunny day, provided the sunlight isn't shining through the window, the heat would have the same effect of being trapped outside and the house would remain cooler. The final thing is you can put draft excluders at the doorways. This stops air from physically moving in and out of the home. 